everyone and welcome back to another Animal Crossing speed build. It's wonderful to see you all again and I hope you're all doing well. In today's episode we're focusing on the campsite and the beach that it sits on, turning this once empty area into a cluttered, rustic and sort of overgrown campsite with an accompanying fishing spot as well. Uh, this is something I've wanted to do for a while as weirdly I've been really inspired with working on my beach spaces rather than the actual empty spaces on my island, and I have a lot of empty spaces on my island. Um, but this part is a little shorter as we did have a smaller space to work with, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. As you can probably tell as well, that from this thumbnail, that this area was heavily inspired by cottagecore elements. So I wanted to have a beach that was cluttered with camping objects as well as beach furniture. I had actually decided a long time ago as well that I wanted my campsite on a beach rather than the actual island, because I just felt like that having a dedicated space on my island didn't really fit the overall theme I wanted to achieve at the end and actually from this result I'm really pleased that I put it here rather than on the island itself. Uh, it was definitely a much more spur of the moment decision and I'm really pleased I took it. Uh, but as you can probably tell as well this area still isn't entirely finished and actually off camera what I'm going to do is I will be building up the area behind the beach that leads up to the museum and I was thinking of doing some more waterfall and cliff terraforming with like secret paths that lead to this beach so that it gives off that enchanted hidden forest vibe that I'm trying to achieve on the whole. I do want this area to feel almost overgrown and abandoned, almost forgotten compared to the rest of the island, but I do hope that it slightly comes across through this build. Uh, but again, on the whole, I really did enjoy building up this area. It was definitely a much less stressful build because the last build was quite stressful, the museum. Um, and I did have a lot of fun decorating this area too. I actually got to use a lot of the random items that I had lying in my inventory and also I got to play around with some of the elements such as the placement of grasshoppers and water bugs that come in the cages and the buckets. But what I do love about Cottagecore is that you can achieve a really amazing look by simply placing objects and playing around with the placement, which is mainly what I did here. And it was definitely a lot of fun and quite like therapeutic to do. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start thinking about heading off now because I do want to keep this quite short as the video is shorter. But before I go, I did want to leave a quick message that um, in my next video, the format will be a bit different than this one. I will be trying something new with how I speak throughout my videos, so I will be talking throughout the video but jumping in and out, where I will be talking about my process behind the build and talking about more specific areas rather than just giving you one block of speech at the beginning. So if next week you would like to leave any feedback on whether or not you like that new format, I would definitely really appreciate it. But anyway, as always, I did want to say as well, thank you all so much for the amazing and wonderful support you've been giving my videos and my channel. It really does mean the world to me that you want to watch my content and I have been so touched at the amazing support throughout. You guys make my weeks so much better and so amazing, so thank you all so much for that. And I also want to say as well that if you're interested, I do have an Animal Crossing Instagram account that is always linked below in my description. Uh, if you would like to come by and see some more photos of my island, which are not necessarily like speed builds, but just things I've been doing off camera, or even if you just want to come by and say hello, um, it's down there if you're interested. But anyway, I'm going to head off now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you all have an amazing day wherever you are, and I hope as well that you stay safe, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.